There were triumphs for Paul Maskell and the team behind Sinead O'Connor documentary Nothing Compares at the 25th British Independent Film Awards ceremony, which took place in Old Billingsgate, London in December. After Sun, starring Paul Meskell, was the big winner, taking home seven awards, including the night's main prize. The Irish documentary Nothing Compares took the awards for Best Feature Documentary and Best Debut Documentary Director for Catherine Ferguson. Um, well, it's, it's, it's obviously personally amazing for Catherine and for the three of us, um, but more importantly um, for Sinead. Um, and um, five years ago we set off on this journey to tell Sinead's story and for our only real motive was for the world to have a deeper understanding and more sympathy and empathy for that for which Sinead stood for and achieved in her life and uh, we felt had kind of been forgotten about and so personally we're absolutely de delighted but more importantly we're just so happy for Sinead and for her legacy and for how we as a country have moved on um, over 30 years since Sinead was telling the world what needed to be fixed and nobody was listening so it's a really cheesy answer but that's that's honestly how we feel. I mean to be honest I'm absolutely genuinely stunned beyond belief I had no expectations of this whatsoever you know as Michael said we set out from the very beginning to tell the story out of a deep respect and love for herself and uh, wanting to you know put the story straight and get it in a you know put it into a cinematic format that people could really hear what she had to say and the fact that it's been you know it's won these two awards tonight uh, just shows you know what people feel about her and I've said the whole way in the last year is that any, any positive response to Nothing Compares is a positive response to Sinead O'Connor and I think that that's the key takeaway in all of this it's like we've just made a film telling people what happened and it's her story and it's her that this is all for so we're delighted. The Wonder, Netflix's adaptation of Emma Donoghue's novel of the same name, earned 12 nominations, only second to After Sun. How does it feel to be here tonight? It's just thrilling, you know, especially for someone who's mostly in the book world, to be at a film event and to feel, you know, that the film I helped to write is, is getting the recognition of its peers, especially within independent film, it couldn't be more moving, it's lovely. Um, I mean... I'm just so excited, I couldn't be more happy, I'm over the moon, and what happens, happens, and I'm looking forward to every single bit of it, yeah. Um, and to, to celebrate and support independent film is so important, but as well on a selfish note, we're, we're, we're classing this as the rap party we never had for the wonder, so there's, it's going to be a fun night. I mean it's a pretty grand rap party. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Safia Oakley Green won the award for Best Breakthrough for her performance in The Origin. How does that feel to win? To win? Incredible. Like, I'm still like completely mind blown. I'm like, am I in a dream? Pinch me. <laughs> it feels crazy. <laughs> it feels really great. I'm very, very happy and very grateful. Exactly. Your mayo mum's going to be proud now, huh? My mum's going to be, my mayo mum's going to be over the moon. My, my whole family from Ireland are going to be over the moon, I hope. Like, I just can't wait to go back, text everyone in the group chat and let everyone know. Uh, I'm just, I'm so, I'm so happy. Ashleen Franciosi was nominated along with her co-star Paul Meskell in the supporting category for her work in God's Creatures. Um, what can you say about that film? What drew you to it and how did you enjoy work? Uh, I think it's a really powerful movie and I'm really proud to be a part of it. Um, we shot it in Donegal, stunning, stunning locations. The story, you know, it looks at some of the uh, darker sides of a rural community in Ireland and um, you know I think it explores topics that are very pertinent and that you know we still need to explore and tease out and I think it makes whoever watches it come away with questions um, and hopefully that will spark conversation. I'm trying not to give anything away but yeah I hope I think it's um, I think Irish audiences will be seeing it next year so I'll be curious to see what they think. Yeah, excellent and of course Paul Meskell's in it with you who's so big right now what's what's it like working with him or how did you find working well, I think we were both like, oh my God, we're working with Emily Watson. <laughs> he would say that too. He's a phenomenal talent. He's a even lovelier person. And yeah, just to get to work with Paul and with Tony and some of the other actors, like Marion Dwyer, Tony O'Rourke, Declan, like, you know, the cast all brought their A-game, I think. And uh, 
everyone was just a joy to be with and you know we were filming in the middle of level five lockdown so um, it was quite a little special bubble we were living in for those few weeks. Best lead performance went to Rosie McEwen for Blue Jean. Blue Jean is set in 1988 when Thatcher's government were about to pass a law stigmatizing gays and lesbians. Is it sinking in more by the... No. <laughs> I, I, it's not. I keep looking down and thinking, no, is that for me? Yeah, apparently, yeah. I'm not, I haven't believed it yet. <laughs> Excellent. So what, let's talk about Blue Jean, the film, because it's, it definitely struck a chord. Did it, did, it, did it strike a chord for you from the get-go, reading the script, or how did it feel when you first read it? Yeah, I mean, one, it's so beautifully written, but more than that, um, Article 28 was in play when I was at school and I didn't even know about it. Um, and to be so close to home, to these women's struggle and to not understand it or know it even existed was something I felt like baffled by and was so proud to be part of. Tamara Lawrence and Letitia Wright were the winners of the best joint lead performance accolade for the Silent Twins. To you know, there, there's many levels to the honor to represent these twins, um, to work with people who are so amazing, um, to to work alongside formidable talent, um, and and to be recognised here. There's like it, it's a multifaceted honor, and I think like it, what it means to us is like so much deeper than the the exterior accolade. I think you know to be people that are doing what we always wanted to do with our lives, even that is like such a privilege so I'm really like I'm super moved I know I seem chill but I'm very moved yeah. like by this situation right now yeah 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 Letitia well known for Black Panther recently starred in the Irish film Aisha which tackles the issue of direct provision Can I ask why that was so important for you to make? It's a very important issue. Isn't it? Yes, I feel like I try to find stories that um, are impactful, stories that mean a lot uh, to us as a society, stories that kind of reflect the ways in which, as a society, we need to grow and be more understanding of different people from around the world and what people are going through. And Aisha is a beautiful example of that. Um, and Frank and Josh were, were amazing to work with and I'm, and I'm excited to hear more about the reception of it uh, as time goes on. Asked if the film could help to end DP, she said... You know, when you do a film, you hope that it makes a difference, so hopefully that that happens. Samantha Morton was honoured with the Richard Harris Award. Samantha told us that the accolade meant so much to her as it was named after the late Limerick actor that she worked with early in her career. Stage, But what does the, the Richard Harris Award mean to you? Does it make you reflect on the man himself or those who've got... It does, it? yes, it does. It's a, it's, um, he was an imp incredibly important person in my life because he was the first kind of real actor I'd ever worked with. Um, he... Uh, I was in a Mary McGookian film um, called This Is The Sea that was based on a Waterboys, uh, they had Waterboys album kind of running through it. Um, with Gabriel Byrne was in that and John Lynch, I was a huge fan of John Lynch because Susan Lynch is one of my favourite actresses and it's her brother. Um, Richard uh, took care of me on that film, um, inspired me. Uh, kind of explained to me how to take care of myself and gave me advice, wisdom, um, generosity, care, love, um, and I, I, this means more to me than any anything any other award I've ever ever had in my life because it has his name on it, and I miss miss him. I miss watching him in films, and you know, so.